6 on KMIZ starts now. The Blair Oaks Board of Education is getting rid of its transgender policy. Thank you for joining us here at 6. I'm Lucas Geisler. And I'm Marissa Holloway. This comes after the board unanimously voted to remove it during its meeting yesterday evening. ABC 17's Kennedy Miller is live in Columbia at the Missouri State High School Activities Association headquarters. Kennedy, there are other regulations the state has for transgender students. Marissa Lucas, today I spoke to the communication director of Misha, who gave me a better understanding of transgender policies. Blair Oaks is cutting ties with its transgender policy. It follows a month long discussion where parents share different opinions about the policy. It's called Policy 2115, which allows students to choose a name and pronoun by which they identify, dress according to their gender identity. And it also allows students to use bathrooms according to their gender. And these type of policies don't stop here. Jason West with Misha tells me in sports and other activities, school districts must also follow regulations for Misha for transgender students receiving hormone treatments. For males trans, uh, transitioning to, to females uh, must have be on uh, hormone suppressants for uh, at least a year under doctor supervision, things like that. There, there is a process. Wes says these stricter policies put in place are to make sure everyone is on the same page. As far as participation goes, uh, the membership felt that it was important to have a, uh, at least a baseline of um, procedures in place uh, for all of the members to be able to follow. But it could take some time for everyone to be on the same page at Blair Oaks as several parents continue to share their views on the removal of the school's transgender policies. And I tried reaching out to PROMO, an LGBTQ group here in Missouri, but they told me they'd have to get a little bit more information before they could comment. Reporting live in Columbia, Kennedy Miller, ABC 17 News. Kennedy, thank you. The district sent out a statement this afternoon which states it will address the needs of transgender students, it says, on an individual basis.